penetrate this hard exterior of yours? Well, I do consider keeping you at arm's length one of my most crowning achievements. Joke all you want, but we both know that all this bravado is just you being afraid of getting hurt. Let's face it, it's exactly what happened with your photography show. It wasn't ready. No, you weren't ready. You had these amazing photos and a gallery that was willing to exhibit anything you wanted to give them. And at the last second, you backed out. And it's the same thing with every single guy in your life. There's always some excuse or another lame reason why things don't work out. Over and over and over. Okay, Lauren, I get it. I know that I have issues. I face them. I swear. I think I overcome them. They're in turn. They're still there. I wish that I was different. I'd like to let go. But when I try to change, there's my past saying no. Maybe it's all because of dad, his new kids, his new wife, or why not just blame mom?
friends don't get mad at friends. Friend, I'm just in the process of adjusting to this newly formed friend ship. And I think I'd rather do that alone. That's all, friendo. Okay, have it your way. Let's just get the check. Great, we finally found something we can agree on. If we could only find the freaking waiters. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please sit, sit. here already know, I do a little writing and performance on the side. Very little. That's why I've been stuck in this rat hole for way too long. Just kidding. There are no rats in here. There are all in the bolognese. <laughs> Anyhow, if you could all please indulge me a few moments of your time, I would like to share with you my latest musical extravaganza. I ain't hit the lights. This goes out to all the lovers in the room. I'm looking at you, table four. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. I've spent my career as a waitress. And my job, while it never gets old, I see romances bloom <laughs> while the fairs meet their doom every night.
that chaperone to suck up in junior high and make me slow dance with him. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? Great! Glad I could amuse you. Well, here we go. One shot salad for the lady. And a long manly burger for the gentleman. Thanks, but I don't think we're going oh, to... come on. The food's already here. We can still have one meal together. <laughs> Fine. One very quick meal. Bon appetit. So, tell me, BDS, what are we supposed to talk about now? What do you mean? Well, on your other blind dates, after you crush their spirits, <laughs> question your overall attraction to them, and then let them know in no uncertain terms that they really don't have a snowball's chance in hell of hooking up with you. What do you usually talk about? The weather? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the way I see it. You've got two options right now. Either you can keep on being angry guy for the rest of the meal, or you can turn that frown upside down and take advantage of this golden opportunity. Um, which golden opportunity are we talking about exactly? Look, I apologize if my blunt honesty and obvious lack of tact upset you, Aaron, but the truth is I know many single, eligible, attractive young women which means if you play your cards right, I could be your very own Match.com. And they have over 15 million members. That's a shit ton of single women, Aaron. How do you know that? I am a student of statistics. And I'm also on Match.com. So, uh, you know lots of single women? Tons. The city's crawling with them. Go on. I'm listening. Okay. I see where you're going with this. Maybe I am looking at this the wrong way. I mean, we've only just met. There's no history here. If it can't be me and you, it can be me and... Countless others. Countless others! Fine, I'm game. Who do you have in mind? Well, it depends. What's your type? Oh, you know, nothing too specific. <laughs> just, I don't know. Maybe five foot four with green complexion. Hazel eyes you get lost in for days. Chestnut hair halfway down the back. Slender figure with breasts that amaze. Just the slightest hint of a dimple. Bounty lips with a lily white smile. Tiny birth like below the right shoulder. And a manic depressive demanding a masculating ball. thousand out of this. Right. Sorry. Woman of weakness. Won't happen again. You know what? I trust you. I'm not picky. Okay, well, do you want a good girl who you can bring home to mom and dad, or someone a little more challenging and rebellious, but who's definitely way more fun in the sack? I think dad would probably go for it either at this point. <laughs> what about mom? Kinda hard to say. Why? Will you always be her adorable widow boy, and no girl will ever be good enough for her baby? No, it's not that. It's just that... She wants to keep you all for herself? What is she, one of those overbearing Jewish mothers who just can't stand? My mom's dead, Casey. She passed away when I was in 10th grade, and before that, she was so driven and career obsessed, I hardly ever saw her. I feel like a total jerk. No, don't. It's fine. I'm sorry, I guess I just assumed that, that I come from this drama-free, perfect family. I've been picking up on that. So, how did she, uh, I mean, do you mind talking about it? Well, it's not really first date material. Well, and since we're longer, no longer on first date, I guess it's ripe for discussion. She was born with a defect in one of the valves in her heart. Most people can live with it their whole lives, but she had a very stressful, very demanding job at her law firm, which probably, definitely, made things worse. And by the time she started showing any symptoms, it was pretty severe. So she had to go and get emergency surgery, but something went wrong during the... Why am I telling you this? Because I'm a good listener. The dark secret about me is that I'm really very sensitive. 
So, did you even get to say goodbye? Yeah, briefly. But it was right before the surgery and things were rushed and we didn't really know what was going to happen. But here's the crazy part. A couple of days later, I was going through my sock drawer trying to find a matching pair of socks to the wear to the funeral when I found a letter she had written to me before she left to the hospital. I guess she thought there might be a chance she, she might not be coming back, so she wanted to tell me a few things before she left. What did the letter say? It isn't easy to express what I feel inside, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to you. spent at work, consumed with my career. I wouldn't blame you if you thought I didn't care. Graduations that I missed, all the games I didn't cheer. in my life I took for granted Like tucking my children into bed My world was always spinning fast And in an instant tears have passed And here I sit with so much left
and we bonded over karaoke singing R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what you mean to me, that we would be best friends forever. And BFF answers the phone when the other one calls, right? I mean, what's going on here? One date, and you're already ditching me for him? Could it really be going that well? Or did he like, I don't know, stuff you in the back of this creepy white man and your phone's lying in a ditch on the side of the road somewhere? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
my fiance. Alison Zuckerman was my fiance. What's the point of imagining me for not gonna listen to the freaking word I say? I didn't realize you were engaged. Um, wait, is this the ex who was mute? No, that would be just wishful thinking. <laughs> so, how close were you to getting married? I would say very close. Have you already sent out the invitations? Oh, yeah. Wedding gifts have been bought, band have been hired, people had actually already started taking their seats if memory serves. <laughs> she left you on your wedding day? Worse, she left me standing there by myself under the chuppah. Why would she do something like that? I'm not entirely sure, though when I found her sprinting off in the parking lot, she did say one thing to me. I'm Which sorry, Erin. But I just, I just can't, can't do, do this. this. I just can't do this. What's this girl's address? Because I'm in the mood to go cut him in. No, 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 no. No, uh, I'm sure she had her reasons. Whatever your reasons, you don't do that to somebody. How long ago did this happen? 14 months, 2 weeks, 3 days. I mean, something like that. <laughs>